Hi, my name is Josie. For the past year, me and my boyfriend Michael have been traveling through Southeast Asia, filming and sharing our adventures with you. My first villa in Bali. In this video series, we'll be exploring the beautiful country of Laos. From the vibrant capital of Vientiane to the stunning landscapes of Luang Prabang, we're gonna show you all that this amazing country has to offer. We'll be visiting tiny villages and interacting with locals in some of the most Sabani. remote areas of the country. Uh, no? Uh, no? No. And no. Uh, yeah. All while driving on crazy and scary roads. In this first video, we're starting our journey in Vientiane. From the Mekong River to the iconic Paxote Monument, we're going to take you on a tour of some of the city's most famous landmarks. But first, I can't find we're on the hunt sandwich. for the ultimate Lao sandwich so, at a hidden local store. So let's go see if we can find one. And join us as we explore the city of Vientiane for the very first time. 100,000? No, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. I think I might have done a mistake here. So here we are in Laos. We're about to spend the day showing you a couple of things that you can see around here. But first of all, I think this is really cool. That over there is Thailand. I'm pretty sure it's Isan. So we're right on the border. That Mekong River right there divides Laos and Thailand. And that's how close we are to Thailand. But first, I know of this sandwich that is the Lao version of the Vietnamese sandwich, the banh mi. And we just came from Vietnam. So let's go see if we can find one. No, thank you. No, thank you. Chai. Oh. oh. <laughs> so we like eating local. So we're trying to find a little family owned store or something a little bit more local for this sandwich. I'm really excited. Sandwich. I said that's so Aussie. <laughs> Sandwich, Sanger. In Australia, we say Sanger. So we have just come from two busy places and cities in Vietnam, Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi as well. So this is definitely a change of pace. It is definitely a lot quieter of a town, but sometimes quiet's good, you know? Okay, so that's the one that we're actually gonna go to. So it, it does look very close right now. So we're just gonna keep walking until we find another local place with this sandwich. But it's really, really quiet here. It is feels actually kind of a relaxing in a way. There is a little bit of rubbish around, I've noticed. There's a lot more um, sort of bags of rubbish um, around kind of on the street than I've seen for a little while. It's, where are we in? December, so quite sunny, quite hot, but nice to walk around. <laughs> So the second place we went to was closed as well. So we're going to try and walk back to where we first sort of started to see if a third place is open for this sandwich. The things we do for local food. So buddy, do you have cow G Lao sandwich? I have Lao sandwich. No, do you know somewhere? Everywhere's closed. Any Lao sandwich? Lao sandwich. Yeah, cow G. Cow G. Pate. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to ask my stuff. Do you have a motorbike? No. <laughs> Thank you. I can't find this sandwich. They <laughs> say that you have to go straight. Straight. At the end of the road, you will be uh, on, on your left. On the left? Yeah. So, buddy. So, buddy. A cow G? Yeah. One or two? Can I have two? It's all hand. So, so Six, Four song. Four song. So it looks like she's toasting the bread on some hot coals over there, but I'm sitting down. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Pretty much like a banh mi from Vietnam that we've just had. The base, like the bun, is so long. Without it being cut, that's how long it is. <laughs> it's like a foot long from Subway. It's super crispy. And I can see it full of these different kinds of meat, some greens, some coriander, I think. Shredded bits of meat there as well with like some on onions, tomatoes, uh, like sauce, like obviously the pate. Yeah, I think that's about it. It's really good. It's really similar. Fresh, crispy. Mm -hmm. I think Vietnam has this one for me. I think it does. I'm not sure why. It still tastes good. I'm team Vietnam. 
You're Team Wow. I'm Team Wow. Tell me in the comments below what team you are. <laughs> are you Bun Me or Cow G? Are you Team Bun Me or Cow G? Okay, so we just finished the sandwiches. So now we're looking for a tuk tuk to take us about two kilometers and then we can see some really cool monuments, some stupas, and everything to see around here in Laos and Vientiane. All right, let's go find a tuk tuk. So, buddy, tuk tuk? Bang! 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 Here you go, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But two side. Yeah. yeah. Oh. How much? One way, two way. One way. One way. One way. Oh, one hundred thousand. Yeah. Hundred thousand? No, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> fifty? Oh, eighty. Sorry? Eighty. Yeah. No, I think we're fifty. We're Feng so. Lai, Lu Dai Bao. <laughs> oh, sixty, sixty, okay. Sixty. Bao. It's okay. Sixty is good. Oh, no. Why did you just say sixty? Why would you pay that much? The article I read about it being 50 was before the pandemic, so maybe it's changed. I'm not happy with that. Top Jai. Top Jai. So this is the Patuk Sai, I think. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. But this was made in the 19, I think 1957 to 1967 or something. I could be wrong. But in the 1950s to 60s. And it was actually funded by the Americans. Uh, but it was intended in building an airport. But they actually just built this monument. It's meant to resemble the Arc de Triomphe in uh, France. I've actually been to that one as well, but 10 years ago, a very long time ago. Um, and it was to commemorate or to remember the people People who the Lao people who died in World War Two so they took the money and made this instead and it's meant to look like the French one so that's fun fact for you the inside of this is actually super surprising it's like gold or like I don't think it's real gold is it real gold yeah. it's probably real gold it's maybe but it's yeah. gold on the top it's got all these like decorations and designs there's like tourist things all on the outside all of these like little bits and bobs you can pick up it's if you're souvenirs yeah what what is it? It's like oh, it's a water, water, water gun. Water pistol. Your favorite beer? Yeah, it's my favorite beer. <laughs> yeah. Marco's favorite beer is the beer out. You want a beer? No. Okay. <laughs> so I did a quick Google earlier and it said that you could walk to the top. And I actually wanted to do that, but everything seems to be closed off. They've got like shutters down, but it has a sign that says way up, but you can't get in. So I assume you can't walk to the top today for all lately for whatever reason. No one's up there either. Where are we going now, Michael? That damn stupa. Don't fall in the hole. <laughs> so and you're looking at the oldest thing in Lao. Right. <laughs> we are here at the stupa. It's called that damn stupa, that damn. So here it is. It's literally in the middle of this like roundabout with like all these cars parked. It looks like it's, like the it's just it's yeah, like so it's local. just slapped in the middle of where all these houses are and random like stores. And there's just this big. I can't really see from this side because it's a dark shadow. So it's actually quite a nice place here to just kind of sit and look at the stupa. I know that there was a theory that a seven-headed serpent lived inside of this stupa, which is who protected the people of Lao. But um, obviously, I don't know about that. <laughs> but there's another theory that the Thai people, when they invaded Lao, this was fully covered in gold and that they just stole the gold and left it sort of as it is. Three, two, one, go. So funnily enough, this is actually where we started this morning, um, but now at night time, it gets set up as a, a night market. So we're gonna go show you what's under the tents over there and show you what they've set up during the day while we've been out and about. Oh, someone's not happy. So it's <laughs> filled with markets now. They've got so many tents up. So far, I can't even really even see where they end. We're looking for some food, but I can't see any just yet. So this morning, we're all showing you where Thailand and Lao is in this general area. Now there's a beautiful sunset and there's all these like, what is that, like a fair? 
It's got like a Ferris wheel, a little small one, and all these kids games set up down there as well. So it's definitely a different atmosphere at night time compared to in the morning. And I've seen more people right now than I have all day. <laughs> so people must come out to dinner or at night time for things like this in Laos uh, because basically all of the clothes close. Basically all the shops were closed this morning um, and during the day. Might, might be a weekend thing though, it's Saturday today. So let's have a look on what's down here. Let's have a look at this beautiful sunset. Okay, something weird just happened. I had the camera next to me set up on the tripod getting the time lapse and I just felt someone like walk really close to my back so I just instinctively grabbed like the base of my camera and then the guy behind me who was really close to my back just suddenly turned around like and like looked up in the air and then walked back to where he was. They've been staring at us the whole time so I'm just holding my camera down here. <laughs> yeah so if the angles aren't great and the camera is really close to my face it's because I'm holding it super tight right now. <laughs> there are so many stalls here but I'm only seeing like things like shops with clothes and like sunnies and perfumes and phone cases but not any food those pixels glasses back there go film them because if anyone's watching and you know who where that pixel glass reference is, is a vlogger that i like but josie doesn't really what are you know talking about those pixel glasses a vlogger that bought them somewhere in asia and he wears them everywhere and i watch him what's that what does that mean let the people in the comments tell you these ones let me know in the comments what's Michael talking about. I don't know what they mean. Manny, there's no food yet and we've been walking for quite a while so I'm not exactly sure if there's food at the end or not but this goes on for so long. It looks cheap. Like everything yeah. looks cheap. It's saying 10,000 kip, 20,000 kip, 25,000 kip which is what, like $2 or something? Yeah. Yes, this one. That one? Nice blue. Or black yeah. or like white or something. Don't buy Balenciaga right now. No. <laughs> Maybe that one or this one? I think so. Okay, small problem. We came to the market to get food <laughs> and we're still walking and there's no food yet. So I think I might have done a mistake here. I don't know where to get food. If you could tell me in the comments below where the food mar night markets are in Laos or in Vientiane, because I don't think they're in this one. <laughs> Hi. This is, looks like the end and there's no food. So there's like no stalls left over there. So I think that's it. I think we've made a mistake. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel, you know that every country I go to, I learn as much basic of the language as I can, but I always learn how to say like dog in the local language because of all the street dogs and I love the dogs. So whenever I see a dog, I call it that in its local language. Like Philippines was Ascal and um, Cambodia was Chikai and everything like that. So if you're from Laos, if you know what the dogs are called here in Laos, let me know in the comments below. Sibadi, do you have Milo? Milo. No? Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Supermarket. Down there? Supermarket. Oh, supermarket. Okay. Hop Jay. So if you're in Laos or you're coming through here, this looks like the market to get everything besides food. So, so make sure you do tell me in the comments below, I need your help. Where do I go in Vientiane in Laos to get some local food? And I'll go in the next video. But we had an amazing day here seeing all the stupors and we got to end it with an amazing sunset. So subscribe if you like my stuff and watch this video after this one if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.